guys, so today I'm going to be decluttering my eyeshadow palettes. This one is going to be really hard for me. I've put this off until the very last one. This is the last episode or whatever of my 2017 declutter series. I probably will be doing another declutter series like next year. I saved my eyeshadow palettes for last because I really love them. They're probably my favorite makeup product. My last declutter, I did my blushes, bronzers, and highlights, and those are probably my second favorite makeup products, but these are probably my favorite. I love doing eyeshadow. I know I pretty much do like the same eyeshadow looks all the time, but I love doing them. I have a ton of different palettes here, and real quick before I get started, I do have one lip gloss that... Um, in my lip gloss declutter, I didn't actually try this on, which I should have, but my lips were like so dry because I was trying on like lots of different stuff and kept having to wipe them down. So I just didn't try this one on, but when I swatched it, it looked really, really beautiful because it is a really pretty color. And then I tried to wear it one day. I did wear it one day. Um, but when I first put it on, it got really like gloopy, goopy, whatever the word is. Um, around the inside of my lips and I kind of had to like pat it down and work with it and eventually it was fine it um, If you just don't have too much of it, it's okay You just have to pat it down, but I have so many lip glosses and I just don't want to have to work extra hard with one if I have so many other ones that I like so I am gonna go ahead and declutter this one just to let you know that is one product that I've decided to get rid of. Now we're gonna go down into my eyeshadow palettes and I'm super duper nervous about this because this is a really hard one for me. So first we'll start over here. This is the Tarte Rainforest After Dark eyeshadow palette. It was limited edition and I actually got it from like this girl on Facebook. She was selling a bunch of makeup and sold this to me for 30 bucks. I don't know how much it was originally, but it's a really, really good palette. I like it a lot. I would love to like travel with this. The packaging on it is also beautiful. It's this like serpent and it has a little gem in its head. It's, it's just really pretty and it looks like wood on the front. And you get a highlighter, a blush, and their famous Park Avenue Princess bronzer the matte version and I love 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 this bronzer and then you get six eyeshadows in here which are really nice quality as well so I really like this palette and I'm definitely gonna keep it the piles are gonna be a little hectic because these eyeshadow palettes are so big they're taking up a lot of the space bear with me I will show you the two piles at the end of the video but for right now they're gonna kind of be out of frame because it's just taking up so much space. Moving over, I have this CoverGirl True Naked palette in the shade Goldens, and I love this palette as well. It's really, really good, especially for CoverGirl. I wasn't expecting this kind of quality, but then I, you know, saw everyone on YouTube talking about it, and they said it was really good, so I thought I'd try it, and I really wanted this one because it has these, like, green shades and I just thought it would look really nice paired with my green eyes. It also has like these beautiful golds and bronzes and that's definitely right up my alley. I love this color range. There's three different shades of this but these colors just really spoke to me a lot more than the other ones. I would definitely think about picking up the two other shades of this palette. There's like a just a neutral one and then a more rosy one but Honestly, this one was just the one that spoke to me the best, and um, I really, really love it. It's amazing quality. Another really good drugstore eyeshadow palette. Everyone on YouTube talks about it, and at first, honestly, when I heard about this, I was like, I don't really understand because of the colors. I was like, I don't really see myself doing a lot with those colors, you know? This is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette, and honestly... When I looked at the colors through a screen, I was just like not impressed by them, you know? I was like, yeah, sure, it might be amazing quality, but if I'm not gonna use the colors, why would I get it, you know? But then when I actually saw it in the store, it, I don't know, the colors just looked different and um, they just, I really wanted to get it. And the main reason that I even like looked into it was because of this color right here. It's this beautiful duochrome. 
and it's like a blue brown type of a thing that is it swatched right there i don't know if you're gonna get how beautiful it is and like duochrome through the camera but it is really pretty so i originally picked it up for that but then when i started playing around with these other shades they are actually like really beautiful and wearable those are just some of the shades right there but they do have like this side over here is definitely more neutral and then you get these more fun shades over here but they're still pretty wearable like this shade right here is right there on my hand and it's just a really nice like champagne -y shade it doesn't really look that way when you look at it in the palette but it does once you swatch it and then you get like this light green right here which is actually what I have right there and it's a lot more wearable than you'd think and then there's like this pinky shade which of course I love but yeah it's just a lot more wearable than you would think it is and I would definitely definitely recommend looking at these wet n wild color icon eyeshadow palettes there's one called like petal pusher and it has a bunch of beautiful purples and I really really want to pick that up as well but lord knows I don't need any more eyeshadows but those are amazing quality and I think this palette was only around like five bucks so I mean very inexpensive speaking of wet n wild this is a little trio from the same line and this is walking on eggshells Blech. another youtube cult classic um people talked about this all the time and the colors are really nice very neutral shades you get like a light it's a light cream shade with kind of a sheen and then you get this kind of bronzy shade and a nice pink shade so it is really pretty and just like with the other one it is amazing quality they have lots of different colors of both of these palettes and they also have one in the same formula that's like a quad i think so you can look and kind of see what colors are gonna work best for you and what you like the most i specifically got those two because they were talked up on youtube and i just had to see for myself what they were like but i would definitely say i like the comfort zone one more because there are more options and i just feel like i reach for this one more this one same great quality and everything but because it's only three i don't reach for it as much that's just me i don't really reach for like trios i reach for single eyeshadows a lot more than you'd think and obviously my palettes but like trios and quads i don't really reach for that much with that being said i have actually like on my own not in a video but I've on my own decluttered most of my little trios and quads and stuff and this is basically the only one that I've kept because it is such amazing quality and these colors are really really beautiful and they actually have these little circles on the back that you could just get in and pop these pans out pretty easily I think so I don't have a Z palette right now, but I do want to get one pretty soon, so I think once I have a Z palette, I'll pop these out into there and put some more like single shadows in there so that I can just have it all in one place, and then I think I'll reach for these shades a lot more with like other things, but for now, I am going to keep it. I'm going to try um, to like make myself kind of reach for it and stuff, but definitely I will be trying to pop this out into a Z palette as soon as I can. Moving up here, I have this little Mary Kay compact, and this was, I think, limited edition. It's this beautiful rose gold. It's a beautiful compact. It has these brushes inside here. I never use them, honestly. And then in here, you have three different eyeshadows and a blush. Now, the blush is not bad. It's not really my favorite, and it's not my favorite color for me that's what it looks like again not bad but not something i really reach for a lot the shadows themselves this one is horrible it's it's just like no pigment really chunky just really awful these two right here are not bad this one in the middle is actually really pretty and then the one on the end is not horrible not the best so this one in the middle is actually called rose gold and that would be the one that i would consider keeping um again maybe popping it out into a z palette but i probably have things that are similar to that i mean because it's not like a super rare shade you know it's this one right here 
it's pretty common I think so I would love to keep this compact just because it looks pretty but if I'm not gonna keep the majority of the shadows and stuff in here I might as well give this to somebody who might enjoy them so I am gonna get rid of this compact all of the brushes this blush and these two shadows I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the middle shadow yet I'm not sure if I want to keep it to put it in a Z palette later or if I'm just gonna get rid of it with the whole thing um, I feel like it's not that like interesting of a shade like I don't really need to keep it so we're gonna keep on the lookout I'm gonna swatch a few other things and see how similar they are to that but probably gonna be getting rid of the whole thing then I have this weird little like I don't even know what it's called it's called the complete petite <laughs> and this is from makeover essentials it's a weird brand that I just happened to come across um, it is kind of cool because this thing pops on there and it has a little sharpener so you can actually put this in there and catch all the shavings so that's that's pretty neat and then you have it actually came with a lip pencil and eyeliner and a mascara which I've since decluttered all of those inside you get a little tiny mirror there's actually like two and I don't know why because this thing doesn't have anything and then this has like blushes on this side but it's very weird I've never actually used these blushes but I mean if you watch my last declutter you know I don't need any more blushes and yeah they're not anything to write home about and then in here you get let me see I don't want to spill these but you get a few brushes that again I will never use um, then you get this little lip palette which is meh, it's not bad but I'm not really into lip palettes and I really had to build up the colors in this one this color right here looks really pretty though that is a really pretty shade but again I just I don't really reach for lip palettes and you have these really pretty matte eyeshadows which I actually really like the shadows in here well I say that and then they swatch like crap so I don't know but when I used them they actually weren't too bad and then you get these shimmery shadows down here which again were not too bad I feel like those are pretty shadows I still have the Mary Kay one on because I'm trying to wait and compare it to some others. But yeah, I'm not going to say this little thing is bad because it's really not. And if you are in the market for something like this, like a, just a complete little palette you can take with you, it's not bad. But I do think the Makeover Essential stuff is way overpriced. Um, there was some woman like selling this stuff in Walmart. I think it's a newer brand trying to get started. And they were selling like a little kit of three of their items for 20 bucks most of their items are a lot more than 20 bucks I'll try to link this down below if I can find it as well as everything here but I have since decluttered everything that I've gotten from that because to me their products just don't have very good quality and they're way overpriced and I would never really recommend them this one was the best out of all of them but it just doesn't really suit me I don't think like I don't need these blushes I don't use a little lip palette and I have plenty of really good eyeshadows that you know are just on their own so it's kind of a cool concept but for me it's just impractical and I I don't like it that much it's not horrible it's not great so that's all I have to say about that one um getting rid of that I'm getting rid of this too I don't know why I put it over there I'm sorry I'm all sorts of confused today now let's talk about an eyeshadow palette that I love oh dropped it but I still love it this is the Lorac Pro Matte palette this is a little mini palette from Lorac I love these eyeshadows and I would love to get one of the Lorac Pro palettes they have like three of them now and I really want any of them to be honest because this is like my favorite matte eyeshadow formula i haven't tried any of their shimmer shadows because obviously this is a full matte palette this is just a really cute little mini palette and you get eight matte shades in here i already used up linen completely it was just a really beautiful matte white just like completely white and i used it all up and i have pan and bear which is a nice cream shade and in corduroy which is a nice warm brown if you want to try some nice warm matte shadows and you want to try Lorac's formula, I would definitely recommend this because it's not too expensive, I don't think. 
and the quality is just really really nice so obviously I'm keeping this one I love it so much and I have used a lot of it then over here we have three little elf palettes so I have their mad for matte original palette and then the mad for matte 2 they now have a uh, mad for matte smoky but I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up getting that one this is the mad for matte 2 palette and then over here is the mad for matte 1 which I obviously have used a lot. I have pan in that shade. The first one is a little more cool toned. This one's a little more warm toned and it also has some more fun shades, not just neutrals. You have like this nice purple, this orange, and this kind of ready pink shade. Whereas in the first one you kind of have mostly neutrals, but I love both of them. I feel like the quality in the Matte for Matte 2 was stepped up just a tiny bit. They're both really good palettes, but this one I feel like just has a bit more pigment. And I feel like I've just kind of stepped up their game a little bit with this one. But the original one is really nice as well. It's a really good beginner palette if... You know, you don't want to deal with shades that are too, too, too pigmented, but they still have like a lot of pigment and they're really, really nice. So over here, I have swatched the first one and then over here is the second one. You can see this one just has a tiny bit more pigment and I feel like they just, they both blend really, really well, but I feel like this one's just a tiny bit more pigmented. But it really depends on your color preference. I usually like warm shades more, but I feel like I like the original a little bit better, just the color combination because it's more neutral and I can just like take this with me wherever. I love using this to travel with. But this one is really, really nice as well. And again, the quality on these is just really, really nice. They're only $10 from e.l.f. and you get 10 different shades. So you're only paying a dollar for each shade, which is pretty awesome. I just wiped away that Mary Kay shade by accident, but I will get back on it whenever I have some that might be dupable I guess. Here I have this e.l.f. prism eyeshadow palette in the shade sunset. This is actually one makeup product that I have changed my mind about. If you want to see a video all about the different makeup products that have changed my mind about then let me know because I have a few and I might be able to find some more in my collection. This one is definitely one of them. At first I got this, I had heard so many people on YouTube like hype this up so much. Well basically I had been playing around with different ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadows, which if you don't know those are like a more of a cream formula and they are like one swipe, super pigmented, amazing. I was kind of expecting these to be like that and they're not. But they are really good. I feel like, you know, nothing can compare to my ColourPop shadows. But these ones are really good. And I just loved the shades in this Sunset palette. They do have a more neutral palette and then a smoky one like this. And the smoky one looks really cool because it has a few, like, I can't think of the word, but like gemstone type shades. They have a nice like, deep blue, deep green, deep purple. So that one looks really interesting to me, but the rest of the shades I just don't know about. Like, those three shades are really cool, but then it just has, like, pretty much gradients of gray, which is not really my jam. And then the neutral one just didn't really appeal to me because it just had a bunch of, like, I don't know, just, like, champagne and bronze and gold. Like, it's, it's just not really my cup of tea but this one really spoke to me it's beautiful you get this really beautiful gold you got like a rose gold then there's like a really beautiful deep purple I'll just go ahead and swatch the whole thing because there's not that many shades in here anyway that is that whole palette and it's beautiful I really really love this one now at first I was like unsure about it but now I absolutely adore it it does have quite a bit of fallout. I don't know if you can see, but the palette is quite messy. But a lot of my favorite shadows do, so it's just kind of a thing that I've kind of learned to accept. And if you do your eye makeup first, it's really easy to wipe away. Otherwise, it's still not too hard to wipe away. So I just really love this. The colors are beautiful. This one I am not getting rid of, that's for sure. This is the Tartlet and Balloon palette, and oh my gosh, this had a moment here on my channel. When I first got this, I was talking about it non-stop. I love it. It's definitely one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I can't really decide between, like, this one and my Lorac Pro Matte and, like, this Morphe one that I'm going to show you in a minute, but nevertheless, it's really amazing. Also, 
they're made with like a little bit of vanilla in them and so when you open it up you just get this vanilla smell and it's amazing I love the smell of vanilla so that's a definite plus you also get a really nice big mirror in here so another plus but as you can see I have a lot of pan in the shade charmer which is a nice cream shade you can see I like those shades a lot and then I have a little bit in funny girl which is a really pretty light light champagne shade and I really like pairing this with other shadows um, but you definitely can just use this palette on its own because you do have really nice shimmery shades like firecracker is beautiful it's a really nice um, coppery shade that's what it looks like isn't that stunning but I like that you get a nice array of like cool tones up here and then you get these warmer tones down here and they're such good quality like look at the pigmentation in there and they're so blendable and oh, I just love it I know I need to stop swatching everything but I just oh, this one is so beautiful and it's definitely one of my absolute favorite palettes one of my top three and I just I'll show you like some comparisons from the Lorac Pro because this is another one that I said was like my favorite so I feel like I owe you some swatches <laughs> truthfully I just want to swatch all of this stuff because it's really pretty but whatever I'll say it's for you <laughs> I'll make excuses <laughs> now those are just some of the shades in there they're just both such beautiful palettes both in my top three and oh I just I die I love them so much can you just look at that shade right there oh my god anyway I need to wipe this off my hand so I'll stop staring at it forever but it's beautiful and I'm never gonna part with either one of those until like they're falling apart or whatever <laughs> and then I won't repurchase them for sure next I have my naked three palette the packaging on this is just gorgeous I mean the packaging on the tartlet and bloom is also gorgeous so <sighs> I am a sucker for packaging I'll be honest but I'm not gonna keep the product just for the packaging obviously you can see that with the Mary Kay thing but I also just love the shade range in here it's beautiful I really don't have anything like it actually that's why because this is like an exact dupe for it but this was like the first of its kind kind of a thing I feel like there weren't really rosy palettes like this before this one so it is kind of a trailblazer and definitely unique I love the colors in here some of these shadows I have to be honest are not the best quality some of them are really amazing quality so it's, it's kind of hit and miss um, this one right here in the shade, it's the shade Dust, which is an accurate description of this shade because it's just like a crumbly mess, kind of. Um, it can be pretty if you just pop it on top of shadows or something for a nice, like, reflect, but honestly, it is so dusty, really. That's a perfect description. This shade Trick, I love the shade of it. I wish it was a tiny bit, like more pigmented because I, I, it's nice but for the price that you're paying for it I mean you might as well get like the um the elf prism palettes because they're pretty much the same kind of all of these like lighter shimmers are just not amazing like they're not bad but they're not high-end quality at least I wouldn't say that they are you know like that's not bad that's really pretty but looking at it, you wouldn't think it was high-end. It doesn't compare to the swatches I did of the Tartlet and Bloom or the Ro Rock Pro. Oh my god, <laughs> can't speak. And when I swatched the Naked Smoky, like, it's completely bizarre that these are even, like, the same line because all of the shades in here are amazing, like, high-end quality, and this one, not all of them are. But when you get to, like, these darker shades down here, these are where you get the high-end quality. Let me just swatch a matte one for you as well. So can we just see the difference between like this side and this side? Like, can you tell that that is just a lot lesser quality? So I would say like half of this palette is really amazing and then the other half is kind of okay. These two matte shades right here are really nice, but these four right here are kind of meh in my opinion. But then you get like these shades that are really amazing and I still like use these shades and everything they're still pretty but I think they're they look more drugstore quality and this looks more high-end you know I don't know if that made any sense to you guys but I am keeping this palette I just wanted to go ahead and kind of share my opinion on it um in case you were thinking of picking it up it's good 
but I don't know if it's worth the price. That's kind of up to you. Then over here I have the dupe of it. I'll show you them kind of side by side, but they're not exactly the same. There are some shades in here that are just not at all similar, but they actually stopped selling this palette. I was going to do like a blog post on it. I, I'm trying to start a blog soon. I'm not sure like exactly what I'm going to do or if I'm even going to really do it, but I have it like set up and I was going to do a post about these two things, but turns out that this one isn't even being sold anymore. They have the dupes in the exposed line for Naked 1 and 2, but then they just, for some reason, discontinued this one. This is the Overexposed Palette by Crown. The packaging feels a lot cheaper on this, and the brush actually broke on me. I had to tape it back together. Most of the shadows in here are not good quality. Some of them are actually, like, better quality than some of these, but, like, these shades right here that are supposed to dupe, um, Dust and Trick, those, in my opinion, are kind of better than Dust and Trick because like I said they're not the absolute best quality. Like you see that, um, definitely Dust, the dupe for that is way better. It's not the same shade but it is a lot better quality and these two are similar but I would say honestly that I don't know. I don't know. I can't really decide. They're both really pretty. As I was saying there are some good shades in here but for the most part, they're not not nearly as good as the Naked 3. And some of the shades just aren't even comparable to it. Like this one right here, that's supposed to be this one, is not at all the same. Still a really beautiful shade, and it's really nice quality, but it's definitely not a dupe for that shade. I'll look and see if you can find this one anywhere, but I couldn't last time but yeah there are some really good shades in here part of me really wishes I could depot just like the good shades in here like this one right here and this one especially and maybe even this one but truthfully I just don't want to go through the trouble of that and I could potentially like ruin this palette for someone else if I tried to do that so I think I'd rather just give a complete palette to someone else. I know my sister was super jealous when I got this for Christmas, so I'm sure she would love to have this. So I'll see if she wants it. Why am I putting it in the wrong pile again? Oh my god, get it together. So then over here, um, I have this Hard Candy Natural Eyes Neutral Eyeshadow Palette. This I got because of Jessica Braun. Damn Beauty 89 is her channel. I'll try to remember to link her channel down below. She's one of my favorite beauty youtubers and I do actually have a video about makeup that I bought just because of youtubers so I'll link that below as well if I can remember hopefully I can sometimes I'm a little scatterbrained but this I bought because of her because she did a dupe video on this and the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette and the colors are pretty much dupes for that palette and in here came a little eyeshadow primer which I've since decluttered and a little brush that I just threw away because it was like a typical eyeshadow brush and uh, little eyeshadow sponges or whatever and I don't use those and then there was a little eyeliner which I've also decluttered and then here is like a little book that it, it kind of like gives you some tips on how to do your makeup with this palette so that's pretty cool if you're a beginner this was only eight dollars so really inexpensive they have also like a smoky version, a glam version, I don't know. They have a couple different shades of this palette, but I got the natural one. And this was honestly like one of my first palettes. This was like my first big palette and my first high-end palette. But then I got this one shortly after and I really loved it at the time because I didn't really have anything else and this is pretty good quality. It's not the best, but it's not the worst um, and for the price it's pretty good. Like that is not bad quality at all. The mattes in here are actually really really creamy and nice so I mean if you are a beginner and maybe you're just getting into makeup and you want a nice neutral palette that's really inexpensive this one is a good option and when I first got this I could not stop using it. I used this like every single day. I loved the looks that I could create with this when I was first kind of getting into makeup but now um, 
don't know. I just don't really reach for it. The packaging is really bulky and it's just not my most like amazing quality palette. So that's all of the shades and they're swatched and you can see like it's not bad. It's pretty good for eight bucks, right? But I just have so many other palettes and I definitely have colors that are very similar to these ones. So I just feel like I don't need it and I don't really reach for it. So I'm going to try and give this to somebody who will. Then over here I have this little custom palette that I created from Coastal Scents. Um, you can get like lots of, they have a few different um, little compacts. They have one that has a mirror and then this clear one. They have like a 28 pan one and then this 12 pan uh, quad and I think they have like little single compacts. And then they have these hot pots is what they call them. And they're normally, I think, two bucks, but um, they do go on sale and you can get the compacts and all of the hot pots for half off. So I would wait for that sale. It comes around maybe a few times a year, so I would definitely wait for that. Look up swatches online too because sometimes the color that it shows can be a little different. That happened with this one. I actually looked up swatches but it ended up a little bit different from what I expected. But it's still a really pretty color. I have a whole video on this palette. I'll link it below. I have so many videos to link below but this is a really amazing palette. I think some of the shades are a little like hit or miss so definitely do your research into what shades you want. It's not like you're spending a whole bunch on them, but I wanted to make basically my perfect like everyday palette. And I don't know if I would necessarily call it that, but I do think it's a perfect everyday fall palette because it's very, very warm. And every look I create with this ends up looking very warm, which I love, but I think if it were my everyday perfect palette, it would have a nice mix of cool tones and warm tones. So I do want to get like another one of these. I wouldn't get the 28 pan one. I think that's how many is in it. I wouldn't get that one because it's just so big and I feel like I would get kind of overwhelmed and not really reach for it as much. But I really like these 12 pan ones. I like the clear lid so I can see what I'm reaching for. But I want to get another one that's like more colorful shades that I could just reach for every now and then and create a really fun look. So I might do that sometime. For right now, I am really, really happy with the way that this palette turned out. Some of these shades are absolutely beautiful. Uh, Dark Goldenrod here is one of my favorites. It's this really cool... Um, gold shade with like a green reflect. I don't have anything like it. It's so pretty. And then this shade of bright copper is so pigmented. Oh my gosh. It is so beautiful. Like look at that. That's amazing. And I got it for a dollar because it was on sale for half off. So that's incredible to me. Like this was a dollar. That's insane. And I think all together I think it was around 15 bucks so if you got it for full price it'd be 30 that's how math works right um, so I mean it's not that much but I would definitely wait for a sale because then you can get it for 15 and that is not a lot at all and you don't have to fill it all up right away obviously you can like go back in and I think a lot of different shadows will fit in here so you don't just have to get coastal scents but they do have really good shadows and like I said I got those for a dollar like can you believe that I'm not gonna sit here swatching this I did a whole video on this I have full swatches of this palette but it's so pretty and it's actually like one of my favorite palettes now and you can customize it any way that you want. You can do really fun colors, you can do everyday colors, like whatever your heart desires. So I, I just I love it so much. And these makeup wipes are both very dirty. So I'm just like swirling a bunch of makeup on my hand at this point. Next I have the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia. And <clears throat> I got this partly because of the hype on YouTube, but also because the colors in here are really, really beautiful and they're unlike anything else I have in my collection. You can see they're quite unique, like you have these really pretty pinks and oranges and yellow shades and it's just really interesting. I wasn't, I was gonna try not to swatch this but I just, I have to, I have to. So these are really good quality. Golden Ochre is one of my favorites because it's just so unique. So those shades right there, some of my favorites from this palette, it's a beautiful palette and um, 
I mean, I really like the packaging on this. It's simple, but it's just a nice, like, velvety feel, which, I mean, it's going to get very dirty. I know that it's actually already starting to get dirty, but it feels really nice, and it, it is pretty. The only thing I would say, I wish there were more, like, mid-tone shimmery shades, because you really only get, like, these lighter shimmery shades. Um, and then you have Antique Bronze, which is, like, kind of shimmer. It's kind of satiny, and then tempera kind of looks satiny to me. I don't know if I'm imagining that. But really the only like metallic shades in here are Vermeer and Primavera. And they're both pretty light. So for me personally, I prefer more of a mid-tone shimmer all over the eye. That's just me. I think that's kind of why this hasn't become like my absolute favorite. But I think if I look at it more as like a mix-in palette type of a thing um, where I take like other shades or some of my single like ColourPop shadows and kind of mix them in with some of these. I think I might like really like it a lot more. I really like the quality of these and the colors are beautiful and I don't know why I just haven't I don't know it hasn't become like one of my staples like one of my favorites. It's not something that I I'm like having to pry my hand away from, you know? So I, I'm trying to figure out what it is because it's not that I don't like it, but I'm just not getting that, that feeling of like, oh my god, I love this so much and I just I need it every day of my life, you know? I don't know if you know what I mean, but that's kind of how I judge my like favorites. It is really good quality, as you can see, like those those swatches are really beautiful and the shades in here are really beautiful especially for someone like me who loves a warm tone look so I'm gonna keep playing around with it I like I said I like it the shadows are really amazing the colors are beautiful they're pigmented they're blendable they're everything that I would want in the shadow but for some reason I just don't get that like favorite feeling and I don't know why I think it might be because there's not like a mid-toned metallic shade in here to use all over the lid and I was kind of expecting this to be a like one and done type of palette where I would only need this to create my eye look and I can do that but I haven't really loved my eye look doing that because I don't have what I would prefer all over the lid so I think if I look at it more kind of along the lines as these two palettes where I kind of mix in things with them I think I will like it a lot more so I'm gonna try and do that and see if it becomes one of my new favorites or not. But yeah, that's kind of just my little mini review of that palette. Just so you get someone else's take on it because I know it's so hyped up on YouTube. This actually is one of my favorites and unfortunately it's getting discontinued which is super duper sad. Right now it is on sale at Sephora for like 27 bucks I want to say and it's going out and it's really sad. I don't know why they're discontinuing this. It's a really good product in my opinion. I don't know if just people weren't buying it or what it's on sale right now if you want to get it like I would say get your hands on it before it runs out I'll have it linked below like everything else but it's just really pretty I don't obviously I don't do like smoky eyes on the daily I mean you can definitely you can and there's lots of people who do but I just don't and if you've seen my channel you know that I don't do it on the daily I do do it like more often than some people but I, I like doing it every now and then, and this palette just makes it so easy. Armor is one of my favorite shades in this palette. It's this really pretty, like, gray and a nice, like, metallic, silvery gray. It's actually coming off... I don't know if it's going to come off that way once um, I edit this and everything, but right now, just looking in the viewfinder, it looks a lot more warm. Like, it looks kind of, like, bronzy, which is weird. And then there's Smolder, which is a really deep purple. Really, really beautiful. Like, it's almost black, but there's, like, a tiny bit of purple, so for my green eyes, it just makes them pop. And then you do have some more, like, neutrally shades. You have Dirty Sweet, which is a nice metallic gold right there. It's really beautiful. And these shadows are really really amazing quality they all blend amazingly and that's why i say it's like the perfect um smoky palette for beginners so if you are not the most amazing at a smoky eye like i'm i'm definitely not the most amazing um this makes it really easy because they're really easy to blend out they are very pigmented but they're not they're not like too 
cool pigmented. Um, and I feel like you do want a lot of pigment when you're working with a smoky eye because you don't want to look like you put the color there by accident, you know? And it can get very muddy if these shades are not like pigmented enough. And this one I just find looks really great every time I use it. You can definitely do more neutral looks with it as well because there are, like I would say, six neutral shades in here and then six like darker smoky shades. I'm really glad that I have it now because I never would have bought this for myself. My mom actually got this for me and my sister for Christmas. I never would have bought this for myself because I never would have thought I would use a smoky palette this much, enough to warrant like spending the money on this, but now that it's on sale and everything and it's going out, like I would definitely recommend getting this. Because I actually use it a lot more than I thought I would. I gotta hurry up here. So next I have this Morphe by Kathleen Lights palette. Unfortunately it was limited edition which makes me super sad because this is honestly probably my favorite palette of all time. And that's really sad when it's a limited edition palette because I can't like recommend it to you guys. If I can find this on eBay or somewhere I will link it down below but I don't, I don't know if I can. So my palette is a bit messy, but that is because I love it so much. These shades in here are like perfect for me. Um, <clears throat> you have a nice matte cream to put all over your lid. You have a nice shimmery like white shade. Um, there's some beautiful golds. There's these fun like greens down here. I'll go ahead and swatch this green shade because I know that you guys are just like screaming for me to swatch this, right? Like, oh, that's so pretty, and I'm sorry about, like, going on and on about a palette that you can't get, but, oh my gosh, I love it so much, and I wish, I wish that Morphe would make this a part of their full collection. I don't think they're going to, unfortunately. I wish they would. I really do, because it's so pretty, and they're all so pigmented. The only problem with this is they have a lot of fallout, um, but I do really want to try some other Morphe shadows now, because... These are really amazing quality, so I wonder if their regular palettes are the same quality, because I would definitely be interested. They have a lot of fallout, but they are very, very pigmented and really easy to blend, so I will deal with the fallout for sure. Next, I have this Blushed Neutrals palette from BH Cosmetics. It's supposed to have, let's see, five blushes in here and then a 21 eyeshadows. However, these shades don't work as blush for me. Um, this shade makes a really pretty, like, red eyeshadow, if that's what you're into. Look at me. I look like Christmas now, but anyway, it's kind of a coppery red, but it's definitely more red than copper. The shades in here are really pretty, but honestly, there's not a lot of, like, really deep tones, and there's not a lot of really light tones. It's all kind of mid-tone, and I don't, I don't love that, because I can't use this as a full, like, palette, and... I mean, it's, it's okay quality, but it's not, like, the absolute best. This one is probably the best quality of the palette. The rest of them are decent, but they're not, they're not the best that I've ever used. And a lot of them are very, like, similar to each other, so it's just, it's not anything, like, to write home about. And because it doesn't have, like, those lighter tones and stuff, it's all kind of in the same shade range i just don't reach for it very much so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one and then lastly i have this second edition 120 color eyeshadow palette from bh cosmetics i got this because i wanted something colorful clearly this is very colorful to be honest with you i haven't been reaching for this very much um i but the reason for that is because when I first swatched this, I was a little disappointed. Some of these shades are very, like, they're very hit or miss. Some of them are not good at all. This one right here, like, nothing comes off. So that one is, like, a complete dud. Then there are shades in here. I don't know which ones they are exactly. I'm going to try and find some good ones. There are some in here that are, like, really, really nice quality. So it is very, very hit or miss. But if you find the good ones... Like, that one's not a good one at all. This red shade, not a good one. <laughs> this blue is not bad. It's a little chalky, but I don't know. I just don't have, as you can see, I don't really have a colorful palette that I can use. So I'm going to, I think, keep this for now. I'm going to try and 
use it and stop being like afraid to use it because I'm afraid that it's just not going to be the level of quality that I want. But I need to just try and use it and do some like colorful eye looks with it and see how it turns out. And if I really don't like it, I will end up get, getting rid of it eventually. Like I said, I'll probably do another declutter next year. So I'll probably, I might get rid of it in that one if I end up not liking it. But for now, I'm going to keep it and try it out a bit more. So anyway, I'm going to get the piles to get there. This is really, really sad. <laughs> this is like even more sad than my last declutter, which was not the most successful but this one was a lot less successful but honestly looking at these i love like all of them except maybe this beach cosmetics one but i just i still have to try it out a bit more i have to give it a chance i can't just like say from a few swatches that it's bad like there are some in there that are really good so i will try this one out and see how it works on the eyes and like i said if i don't like it i will get rid of it in the next declutter but for right now, I'm going to stick with this and try it out a bit more. But the rest of them are honestly some of my like, tried and true favorites. I will be popping this out into a Z palette as soon as I can. And then I will definitely be using it more. But I still love like the quality of them. And the rest of them, I just I use them like all the time. So I really couldn't get rid of a lot of these. I definitely could have gotten rid of a couple more. But I mean, I'm just, I'm going to give this one a shot. And this one, like I said, I'll be popping out into a Z palette. And if I don't use it then then I'll definitely end up getting rid of it or whatever. I have 15 over here in the keep pile, I think. And then five palettes in the giveaway pile. And then one little lip gloss from last time. But I got rid of like one fourth of it? Is that, is that correct? I don't know. I don't know. But not too much. Not too much. I did, I, that, that is, this is my least successful declutter. Please watch my other declutters so that you know that I'm not like a complete hoarder, like I'm not horrible at decluttering. This one is just, this This is kind of a fail, honestly. It's a fail. Like I said, I've decluttered off camera a bunch of my palettes before, and the ones that I've gotten since have just been really good palettes that I really love. So, yeah, that's, this is my declutter. So, like I said, please watch my other ones because I did a lot better in those. And make sure you subscribe before you leave so you can see my other videos. Also give this video a like for support because I know I didn't do too good, but I tried. Okay, I tried. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys!